When we get a sample that is indicative of an autosomal recessive disorder, in some cases we can only find one hit with next generation sequencing. There could be a deletion or duplication on the other allele. Using the Cytoscan Exxon suite, we have the ability to identify the second change in autosomal recessive disorders that is of paramount importance. So we recently conducted a research study to determine the genetic etiology of a disorder called Wardenburg syndrome. We couldn't identify the relevant variant using our next generation sequencing panel. We tested the sample on Cytoscan Exxon suite and we were able to identify a large deletion that was inherited from the mother. But since this is an autosomal recessive disorder, there had to be a second change possibly coming from the father. Using the Cytoscan Exxon suite, we were also able to identify a nested homozygous deletion involving the SOX10 gene that was coming from the father. Together, the large heterozygous and the small homozygous deletion resulted in a lethal combination. This is the first report of a biallelic deletion contributing to the phenotype of Wardenburg syndrome.